good morning you guys and welcome back to my channel today it is like let me see today is june 17th it is currently 7 25 um the dogs and i got up at about six o'clock this morning piper's taking this medicine that makes her like have to go to the bathroom a lot so we constantly getting up pretty early um but the dogs did go back to sleep for a while and i was just laying in bed watching some tiktoks i got up got ready got dressed kind of put some makeup on and then did my hair just a little bit just the like cc cream um and we're going outside i'm like so hungry i want to make pancakes let me show you guys i just got these from whole foods um this ancient grain it's this purely elizabeth they have like granola that i really like so i thought i would try this in their gluten-free um and so you just add eggs oil and water and make them i kind of want to put like some chocolate chips in them and then some strawberries and stuff i just like these because they had seven grams of protein and not that mint no added sugars so I think I'm going to make those and like I said, put some chocolate chips and blueberries, maybe the straw if I have strawberries, I'll put some of those in there too. And so I'll show you guys that, but I got to take the dogs out again and then I'll check back in when I'm making the pancakes. Okay. So when my breakfast is cooking, I thought I would just kind of tell you guys my plans for the day. Um, after I eat breakfast, I'm going to take the dogs to the dog park because it's just, they get so much exercise. They love it. They're so well behaved throughout the rest of the day. If we go, okay, get up. Go check out my breakfast. Piper is just laying on me. She keeps scratching me all morning. It's a lot to manage. Um, so we're going to go to the dog park. Then we are going to come back. I'm going to clean. My mom is watching my nephew today um so i told her i would go take him to the pool for a little bit um he's like almost one he loves the pool so i told her i would take him there for a bit i need to go get brad um and then the rest of the day i'm just gonna be like editing some videos doing some like computer work type of stuff um and I don't really know what else. I need to clean the bathroom, so I'll show you guys that. And I just went to Target, so I kind of want to show you guys the stuff that I got. Um, so I'll just show you guys. Well, first, I used this last night. I went because I just needed shampoo. Uh, but as Target does, you always get more, so I got this. Um, Cucumber Mint. It's a volumizing shampoo and conditioner. I don't know if it does that. I used it last night, um, but I slept on my hair, so it looks a little bit crazy. But it's, I really like it. It suds up pretty good. It doesn't have that many ingredients. I like the native products. I have like sensitive skin. I've never had any problems with them. I will say it's very scented. So like even today I can still smell it, which is fine, but something to keep in mind. Um, and I also use this, I don't know, Odell. Um, it's like a detangler and I used it and my hair feels like so Soft it's supposed to be like a detangler and heat protectant, but I Also just got a new wet brush our current wet brush is like I tried to clean it and There's like this is gross, but there's like dust stuck in it um, I got these hair ties to try because I love the slip ones but they're really expensive and I find that they get stretched out really quickly. So I do not love that. Um, and again, they're like $40 or something for four. So I just like can't really justify spending that much. Okay, so like I said, um, I can't justify spending that much on hair ties. I do, but I lose them and then it's like they stretch out. I just like am not using them. And that just seems like a lot of money to be spending um i got these straws on sale they were 12 dollars. i got them for like three something 
Um, I like the silicone straws. I The metal straws just like feel weird. I don't like the way they sound in the cup and I don't like the way they feel on my teeth. I got this comb. I want to try to do like some summer hairstyles. Um, and so I thought this would be good to like section your hair and then also has like I want to go to the Dollar Tree and just get like a pack of all the different combs. Um, I like to have them. I've like broken all the ones I have. I got some floss sticks. I went to the dentist this week. He was like, your teeth are so healthy, which was a shocker, but I do use the floss sticks pretty much every night. So, and I also got this, which I thought was interesting. It's a Colgate toothbrush called Keep, but it like, let's see if I can open it, which is also in paper packaging. Um, but it's like the stick part. I'm like totally tearing this up. It's like the stick part. This is metal. Um, and then this part comes off the head and you can like replace it instead of having to buy a whole new toothbrush. And it came with this and a head for like 10 bucks. So that wasn't that bad. I feel like toothbrushes are like very expensive. Um... And then I just got the Sunbum Purple Shampoo. I like am loving Sunbum and conditioner. I'm loving Sunbum for the summer, like the smells, but also mm, that doesn't smell banana-y, so I really like it. I'll have to let you guys know. I just got some on me, but I'll have to let you guys know how it is. Uh, I'm loving Sunbum. I have like the sunscreen, the tanning oil i have um and then they have like a cool down so you use it like after you tan i've been out in the sun so much this summer like going to the pool i've been babysitting outside like doing all the things um outside so i'm like getting super tan which i like but then you also like don't want to get burned these pancakes smell very very good um the sun is like right at an awkward spot. But this is what they look like. I'm making tiny ones just cause I like tiny ones. I took a gluten-free cooking class and the guy told us like to make your gluten-free stuff taste good, you need to make it small because it doesn't have the gluten strands, of course, that like give stuff the texture. So, um, if you make it small, so if you make it small, you can kind of make some of those structures or it can hold its shape better. This is very nutty, um, which I guess I should have expected, but it's good. It's just, I don't think I'd get it again. All right, I have some strawberries and some blueberries I'm gonna put on top. I need to rinse these. Um, and some chocolate chips, like I mentioned. So here is my breakfast. It has strawberries, blueberries, chocolate chips, and then pancakes underneath. Um, so I'm just gonna eat this and then go to the dog park. I probably won't film anything at the dog park just because it's hard to watch the dogs and I don't know about like filming other people's dogs. So I will not, but I'll check back in with you guys once we get back. Okay, so we just got back from the dog park and it was like very much a mess. Piper got out of the gate at the dog park and was like running around in the parking lot so now i'm feeling like very frazzled and i don't want to do like anything now i'm like so stressed you know and like so i'm probably just gonna sit on the couch and just like be stressed for a few minutes we still need to clean the bathroom and it just feels like so embarrassing and like such a dog like you're like such a failure when you're like your dog gets out it's like so there's nothing you can do about it it's just really awkward i'm going i'm like feeling a little better not great but i'm getting there i'm going to my nephew is in the navy um we're the same age but he's my nephew um and he just got engaged, which is super exciting. So my mom and I wanted to send him like 
a nice little package and I, I went to world market and honestly oh i went to world market and honestly they had like nothing um so i'm gonna show you guys what i got i got him just some big league chew um which again i don't even know if i'm gonna put this in there i just like couldn't find anything i also got him this sea salt caramel popcorn it looks really good um he is like currently like actually i don't i don't know anything about this so don't like comment mean things to me but he's in a boat he's like not in the united states so we're gonna send him like some fun snacks um and then i got him this tony's chocolate bar because these are like really cute um and they taste really good but i went to whole foods and i found this which is just more fun because it has like lots of different flavors um so i'm gonna give him that but i have to go like find something else because it's like so lame one pack of chocolate bars and but i don't like don't really know where to go last i heard he's more of like a kind of a gummy gummy candy kind of guy i might go to walgreens and see if i can find anything else because i know they'll have like the little small packs of stuff and then kind of show you guys like what I put in there to send to him. I also, yeah, I only spent like $20 there to get this stuff. And I got some other stuff for Phoebe's bachelorette party, which I'll show in a different video. Um, Piper is like feeling frazzled also. I'll show you guys. She's just like following me around laying on the ground. So we're just like, trying to relax it's not a big deal she's a puppy like things happen um just like also got one of these i'm sure you guys have seen these it's like one side says come on in we're clean and then one side says sorry we're dirty and i feel like brad and i are always like did you unload the dishwasher i don't know did you like you like the other or like brad did unload the dishwasher and he's gone and stuff so it's just kind of nice to have um so it comes with like this little magnet you stick to your dishwasher and then like when the dishes are clean, the dishes are dirty. I don't think you have to do this just if your dishwasher is not magnetic, but I thought this would be nice for us. Um, so yeah, these snacks aren't even that exciting. It was like really all, they only had like usually world market has like a ton of fun snacks but i felt like they only had like really weird stuff that you would get for like an old lady not for like a young adult that's recently engaged um so i'm gonna go to walgreens like i said and see if i can find anything at all because i want to send him something and it's been like got engaged like weeks ago so it's like also very late and very delayed um but I also need to find out his address. I just went to Home Goods and Walgreens to get stuff to put in his package and I got a ton of cute stuff. So I kind of want to show you guys. Some of it is not frosted. Okay, I got him these sour gummy worms. I just thought they looked kind of cute. They'll be fun. Um, they're just sour gummy worms. Nothing too exciting. I also got him this candy popcorn twix flavored the lady that was checking me out was like i had a whole bag of this yesterday it's so good they also had oreo i think but i went with snickers just or with twix i went with the twix one just because i also got these two bones for the dogs they're like obsessed with bones this is not frosted but piper's like digging them out of the bag so i have to move those um, and then the last thing I got for Austin at Home Goods was this Kilimanjaro Deluxe Chocolate Trail Mix. So it just looked really good. Um, I don't know if he eats those kinds of stuff. I have not seen him in a while. So again, it is hard to say for myself from Home Goods because of course I got this cute plate. I thought it'd be fun. Like as a serving plate. Um, I'm like literally what? It's chipped. Every time I buy stuff, it's chipped, so it's fine. 
but it's really cute. I thought that it would be perfect for like a serving platter. Piper wants to see what I got. And then I also got this little dog jar. It has like little paw prints on it to put dog treats in. Um, so that's all that I got from Home Goods. Not they didn't have too much. A lot of their snacks was like keto, like literally advertised as keto. Which he's not keto. So I don't know. And then I went to Walgreens and they had some cute stuff actually. The first thing I got, I got the him leaves, which are kind of random, but they're just like two little tiny packs of gum. They were a dollar each and they're like so tiny. Um, they have only 10 pieces of the Minto gum in them, but I just thought they would be so cute. Again, boys are like kind of lame. They do not care about that stuff, but I thought this would be fun. Um, and then I also got, I forgot I got him that trail mix, but I got him the peanut butter parfait trail mix just because I feel like you can only eat so much candy. I was trying to get some other stuff. Um, I know he really likes Swedish fish, last I heard. So I got some of those to send in the package. I also got these Tiny Tates cookies, just the chocolate chip ones. I thought they'd be cute and they're very tasty. And then the rest of the stuff I just got is probably um, gum, which I don't know if I'll put that in there or if Brad will want that. So I'm going to try to put this together. Okay, so like I said, I'm using one of these boxes from the post office. This is my last one actually, so I need to use more. Usually I just order like the variety pack of them. Um, I've gone through two of the variety pack or like the different sizes of them this since COVID started. So I've used them a lot. Um, and I just put everything in here. The problem is like this is the biggest bag, but it can't go on the bottom because it'll sm everything will smush it. And I like can't really decorate it. Very cute. So, like I said, everything's just in here. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys a few things. So, I did add some fluff and kind of rearrange the box for Austin just a little bit to make it look kind of nice. I got this congratulations, so excited for you card. I got this from Target in the dollar section like a long time ago. So, I just have these on hand. And then I'm going to put these congratulations stickers on. Again, I got these at Target like a long, long time ago. Um, so I'll just put those kind of around. Um, I'm gonna mail this card to my grandpa. So I'm gonna do that. And then I got this. You're the dad everyone wishes you had. Happy Father's Day for my own dad. And this bag, I got all the cards, the grandpa card and my dad card at Home Goods. And this bag was two dollars at home goods too it says papa but it was really my only options um i got to add these undershirts good fellow i got these for brad for his birthday and he loves them they're supposed to be like calvin klein dupes and my dad like loves fashion and that kind of stuff so i really think he'll love that and then i got him a board game it's called poetry for neanderthals um, I just ordered it on Amazon. It has really good, I'll try to link it down below. It has really good ratings. Um, so it's like you get a card and it says like campfire and then you have to use only words that are one syllable to like try to get people to guess what the word is. So like this one says campfire and then it says like you might say hot place where you roast soft white cube. So like you can't say marshmallow because that's two syllable. So that's just what I got him. Not super exciting, but he doesn't really want anything. And we always have like family game nights. So I thought we could play this. And the shirts are useful. I've been trying to get people. I like either like very useful and gifts. Um, because sometimes we'll get you stuff that it's nice, but like you don't know what to do with it. So then you never use it or it's just like kind of a waste of money for everyone. So I thought these would be not necessarily the most exciting but definitely stuff that he will use a lot 
So I'm just gonna back that up and put the card in there. And I still need to clean the bathroom, but my phone is like blowing up. It's like, it's, um, it's only 11.30. I'm expecting that Gus will get up from his nap soon if he's not already and we'll go to the pool in just a little bit. I'm going upstairs to clean the bedroom and the bathroom before Brad comes home. He stays downtown. He works downtown and stays downtown for the week and then he comes home. But the bathroom, we recently repainted like the walls, the cabinets and kind of hung up, kind of redid the bathroom on a very minimal budget and minimal, minimal everything. So I just kind of want to show you guys not doing the closet because it's a mess at some point this summer i'm gonna like do a closet maybe not this summer at some point probably in the fall i'm gonna clean out the closet completely paint it organize it before maybe before brad moves in i should actually probably do that so probably in the next month i'm gonna be doing that never thought about that because we also need to get a dresser and he has a lot of clothes in his apartment downtown that need to go in the closet so that will be coming up soon but the bathroom is a mess um so there's just like stuff on the counters that needs to go and like all this stuff we got these new hooks and i love them because we can hang like four towels we had like a rod but it broke since we moved in and then my favorite part of the bathroom is in here we hung up like these little decal oranges um, they kind of look bad close up, but like when you're just looking in the room, they look so stinking cute. And then I got this. Okay, so I got this little thing off Amazon. Um, it just has toilet paper in here right now and some bathroom spray, but you could take this and lift it up so you could put like tissues and other things in the butt there as well. So the bathroom, the like water closet or whatever this is called is super super stinking cute um and then we got some shelves and some little bottles to hang stuff up we kept the same mirrors just because i have not found any mirrors that i like really love um and mirrors are super expensive so it seems like kind of silly to spend like a hundred dollars per mirror on something that i'm like don't love that's just like a lot of money that we don't like i don't want to spend right now so I need to clean the like all of this. It's probably just like trash. These are empty. Those need to go back over there. Like this just needs to be cleaned up. There's like all these empty bottles in the shower. So I'm just gonna get cleaning, start cleaning up there. And so I'm gonna prop you guys up and just kind of pause it here and fast forward the rest. stool from Amazon but it's super nice just because if you want to like sit in the bathroom and get ready or you need to set like your clothes on there or anything you can just pull it out um and sometimes I just sit in here or like whatever so I really like this we also painted the cabinets so they used to be kind of like a red color we painted them this tan with this you don't even have to sand it with this paint that we used um you just have to like wipe it with like a degreaser um, and then it works. So I'm gonna clean out the bathtub now. Okay, so it's 6.45, went to the pool with Gus and picked up Brad and now I'm just finishing cleaning the bathroom and the vacuum is on fire so I'm having a rough day to buy a new vacuum but i'll show you the bathroom i needed to vacuum the floors more so i'm gonna have to bring the back get a new vacuum or get the broom but the counters are clean the shower is clean the bathroom so that's all um i talked about this little painting the cabinet so 